Hello and welcome to my video on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you a simple uh, way to shuffle. I was going to say a simple card trick there, but uh, it just could have been annoying to say that for a while. So I'm just going to show you some simple shuffles. So we're going to be doing the overhand, which I think everyone knows, uh, the Hindu, and finally the most known one probably is the riffle. And um, I'm gonna show you some other cut. I'm gonna show you some cuts in the uh, in the video, but uh, these are not false cuts. These are proper cuts. Um, so I'm gonna show them in a different video. So um, and um, maybe I might show some flourishes when I know a couple. I know one, the uh, the waterfall or whatever you call it. So we're gonna start with the overhand. I think everyone knows the overhand. There is a random crowd. So I think everyone knows the overhand. So there's no real uh, technique to that so all you want to do is you want to just take a little bit and just about that and just lift and take just keep on releasing the cards from your other hand and lifting them up so I'm just gonna lift up the camera a little bit just so you can see what I do from the back so if you see you just lift it so just lift up the cards and just shuffle them so basically that's what you want to do, so now I'm just going to lift, lift it down, move it too low. Um, you might be hearing like, <sighs> kind of thing when I'm moving the camera. I don't know, but you might be hearing like, loud noises and things. So, um, what, I want, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the Hindu. So the Hindu is this, I'm just doing it a bit slower so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So what you want to do for this is you want to peel off the top, like that and then you want to drop them down and you want to keep on peeling off the top and dropping them down and just do that until you run out of cards or when you get like very loose so as soon as you get to a couple of cards like that just slam them up and uh, you can do a mixture of Hindus kind of things so the overhand is basically a Hindu shuffle to be honest because all it is is uh, an overhand on the side because look they're basically doing the same thing only that you're not. Yeah, it is basically the same thing. Because look, you're peeling them, but you're peeling them off the bottom instead of peeling them off the top. Sorry, the camera's not in the right place. There we go. Right, this time. Now, so, overhand we've already covered. Sorry, that was a bit of a fail. Yes, quite a lot of a fail. Oh my god. <laughs> right, this is going completely wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so, overhand. Let's just recap. Overhand, then we've got the Hindu shuffle. You might have been hearing another laugh, that's just Cameron pissing himself in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and then what you want to do is the riffle. This one takes a lot of skill. Um, so, well, not a lot of skill, it, does, it doesn't take that long to get right. So all you want to do is you want to know how to do this. With each hand. I know, like... Is that a wet fat? <laughs> it sounds like a wet fart, apparently. So all you want to do is you want to not like cut them really badly. You want to cut them near the middle. You don't want to cut them like like that and try and shuffle them when you've got like a tiny amount of cards in one hand and those in the other, because that would just not work. So you want to split it about 25, 26, 27, maybe 28 cards. So around the middle. So 26 is the middle. So just anywhere around the middle. You don't exactly have to like count them out, you can't have to, you don't have to go like that and count out 26 cards in each. So you don't have to do that. And then, um, so basically what you want to do is you want to cut them about half and then do that with one hand and that at the same time. And they should kind of merge together like that. And it should look a bit like that, a bit all over the place. And what you want to do for the ending. So I'll show you it there, that ending. So I'll quickly show you it by going around the back so you can see it a little bit better. So what you want to do is you want to... So you probably saw that. I'll do it one more time in case you didn't. So... There you go. So I like that. So you want to be able to do that. So the, the way you do that is I'm going to go up the side again since I can go a little bit closer. So you want to be able to do the rubber shuffle. And then people usually go like that and just slide them together. But um, it doesn't seem to be as good. 
So uh, what you want to do is you want to hold them together, obviously. So you want to do that. And then what you want to do is you want to just push them a little bit so they're straight. So they're just straight together. So if I lift it up like that, it will be about straight. So then what you want to do from there is you want to is you want to bend it and release them very lightly. And it will all kind of go together. And you'll still see kind of like a little bit on the edge. So then you just push them together and just neaten them up. So basically what you want to do is it will go around the back again and I'll do it quickly. Just to make it look cool. So um, you can do, usually if I do, if uh, I get a new deck of cards, I do uh, two ruffles, um, like this, do two ruffles, uh, two Hindus, this is actually what I actually do, I do two Hindus, and then two other hands, like that. So you do that and then you just check the cards by just spreading them out and if they look alright then you just like say alright they're alright so now I can just do some tricks. But you just kind of want to keep on ruffling them with the new cards because you want to get that kind of bend and like they want them to be quite flimsy. Well not really flimsy but you want them to be like spreadable and uh, kind of soft and kind of like light to spread off. Look. Like, that. like you don't want to want it to be like that. You have to push it really hard. You just want to like, lightly be able to do it. So what you want to do is you just want to be spread cards if you want to do the riffle. Sometimes you don't have to, but if you want to get a new deck and always see if the spreading ability is good. So um, I'll see you next time for more tips, tricks, and I will show you some more cuts and flourishes in some more videos. So I'll see you next time. I'm out.